perfect winged eyeliner is an art that requires effort and concentration. We would like to find out the most common mistakes we make when drawing winged eyeliner and tell our ladies how to correct them. A pencil should be sharpened every time before drawing winged eyeliner. A sharp tip will make a straight line on your eyelid a lot more quickly and without too much fuss. In most cases, a colored lower eyelid makes your look more severe, which doesn't add to your charm. Specialists recommend only applying colored eyeliner to your lower lid when you're going to a themed party. Every girl has made the mistake of drawing one wing thicker than the other. Then we try matching them to one another, but this only makes more mess. There's just one piece of advice here, try to draw symmetrical wings as often as possible, and you'll soon learn to draw them on your first attempt. The texture of liquid eyeliner will make it quickly run under your eyes, if you use it on your lower lid. That's why we advise you to remember another golden rule, liquid eyeliner is for the upper lid only, and for the lower lid there's a pencil. As we said above, liquid eyeliner can run quickly, especially if there's moisture in your eyes. To avoid this, carry some Q-tips with you to correct sloppy makeup, or just choose waterproof eyeliners. This tiny detail can ruin even the most perfect of winged eyeliner, so always draw the line as close to your eyelashes as possible. This effect is worth your time and effort. Beautiful winged eyeliner must have sharp clean, and slightly upward tilted tips. Other variations will not look as impeccable and can spoil even professional makeup. If you stretch your lids too much when applying eyeliner, your wings will end up being uneven when the skin returns to normal and they won't look perfect. This only looks pretty if you have huge eyes. Otherwise, such makeup visually makes your eyes smaller and all leading makeup artists advise against it. Blending the eyeliner you've applied to your lower lid is fine, but know your limits. If you use a big brush, you'll only achieve the panda effect. If you like this video please share with your friends. If something is wrong write a comment we would like to hear your opinion.